Hey, what's up guys? Stefan here. Please excuse the sweat. It's like 32 degrees here, Celsius, not Fahrenheit, and it's never usually this hot in London. Today, we're gonna to be looking at my workflow incorporating Machina into Logic Pro X. I've had Machina for quite a few weeks now, and the first thing I did when I got Machina was head to YouTube and look for a workflow that will allow me to use it well within Logic Pro X. I searched far and I searched wide but I did not find anything. I mean, I found a few different workflows, but everything was so long winded. I mean, if you're using Machina within Logic Pro X, it's most likely because you want to actually arrange inside of Logic Pro X. So I was looking for a solution where it put the arrange window in Logic Pro X at the forefront of the implementation. I couldn't find that online. So after a few hours of playing about, trying different things, I found the solution. So this solution allows you to use Machina sounds, but then, use Logic Pro X's arrange window. And there's no dragging or dropping, it's literally set up and you're good to go. So without further ado, I'll show you how I've created this implementation or this workflow and you can copy it and use it for yourself. Cool, so let's create a track and insert an instance of Machina. We want to select multi-output 16 times stereo. This will allow us to separate our drums onto 16 channels on the mixer and 16 corresponding tracks in the arrange window. In this example, we're only going to use four. Just click the plus button on the channel with Machina inserted. This creates auxiliary channels, which are connected to Machina's 16 output channels. Once our channels are created, we can then name them and then add them to the arrange window. Just highlight each channel, right click and create track. Then we must go to Machina and add our drum tracks to a group. I'm just gonna use a preset group, 808 kit. The first thing we must do is click on this icon, go to group, click on input and make sure MIDI active is toggled on. And then on your Machina hardware, put it into MIDI mode, shift F1. As an aside, make sure your first pad is playing C1. This, this is on pad page C by default on the machine micro. Um, I'm not sure what it is on other machines. It's probably the same. Press group and select the pad page with the corresponding pad. Now Machina should act as a MIDI controller inside of Logic as would a MIDI keyboard and each of our kit elements should play on their own pad. The next step is to route each drum element into the channels we created. Click on sound, output, then select the channels from this list. I'm gonna do four just so you can see the trend. Now you see they're all separated. And the best part is that we can record straight into Logic bypassing machines arrange window. As well as this, we can still use the tools and effects inside of machine to tweak our drums. The last thing I'd like to add is a MIDI velocity processor. As I haven't found a way to fix the velocity uh, within MIDI mode in machine. Obviously, this is a preference. Sometimes you don't want to fix the velocity because you may run into the dangers of losing feel and vibe, so on and so forth. But if you want to fix the velocity, um, it's easy to do outside of this MIDI mode and in the normal mode, but to do it inside the MIDI mode, I haven't found the way. So if you know, please let me know. And you can also let the rest of the community know by dropping a comment in the comment section below. Yes, that rhymed. Um, but I think we'll end it there. <laughs> and that's it guys. I hope this answered all of your Machina and Logic Pro X implementation and workflow questions. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share this video, drop a comment and subscribe for more videos like this every single week. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.